All right, so now we, that we have everything set up here, what I'd like to do is I would like to add in or show some um, <laughs> things. So, so we have, uh, so if I go to game object, 3D object and cube, actually I'm gonna go ahead with the prototyping which we imported earlier. So prototyping, prefabs, and I'm just gonna drag and drop this block uh, prototype right there. So this is one of the prototypes and this is one of the objects I really love also. Uh, you can pretty much snap the object. So for example, if I wanna like duplicate an object and put it like right after it and like just be almost perfect. So what I can do is I can uh, hold V, I don't know about Mac, but for Windows users, hold V key and you can move to any of the vertic vertices of that certain object and just drag it and just uh, move it to uh, so like I, I turn I move to this word to see this word is you can just drag it and it moves it below the floor or anything. so yeah works nicely okay so uh, I'm just gonna want to build it again wait for it there we go okay so let's try playing that out just certain uh, objects and everything you can't really see anything there, but yes, it, it is certainly there, trust me. And oh, by the way, one, one issue, they don't cast shadows, so you have to manually like, go in there, select them and say, cast shadow to be on. You know, what I really love about the, uh, about adding them is pretty much the shadows part. Like uh, you might've noticed in uh, my earlier uh, version that I have, you know, in my first video that I had the image effects turned on and like that, the shadow part, shadows behind them to just make it look so amazing everything and yeah of course if if you don't like any of it you can go ahead to the uh, ambient intensity bump it up because i'm not liking it i'm gonna bump it up <laughs> i know i'm going over both rev but literally everything but who cares now, as long as it looks good yeah it's starting to see that uh, nice little effect there you can uh, play around with the sky boxes and the certain and certain image effects, and just see for yourself. And by the way, I like the uh, the general GI mode to be on specular specular uh, directional specular. Really makes everything look amazing. Just you, you can just see that it just instantly added that amazing change to it. And uh, yeah, everything looks like ten times better. I think. I mean the bloom effect and all. So you can't blame that. <laughs> All right, and then of course you can. Oh, sorry, my bad. Of course you can go ahead and try playing around with the um, materials. So if I go to the Navi Grid, I can just kind of turn up the smoothness, and there we go. There you have it. There you have it. Looks amazing. Literally amazing. Just, just look at that, man. Come on. And of course, uh, if you have this, uh, this, you know, you have the HDR uh, option there. You can turn it up, and uh, I don't think so. It will add anything, but if you turn it up real, like real high, or you pretty much have any object, and you have emissive texture on it, or emissiveness, anything on it, and turn it up, you'll start to see this really amazing uh, glow thanks to the bloom effect. And it is, however, not too good. As you can just see, it looks a bit fuzzy. I don't know why. It could be due to the um, due to the positioning of the bloom effect. Uh, okay, I have, I have no clue why that happens, but yeah. And also, I think we could move it up, or it could be. No, it doesn't really make much of a difference. But and yes, as you can just see, it's it's, it's horrible. I think that's due to the texture. I have no clue why. I guess this weird effect <laughs> but uh, anyways and yeah just go crazy with the radius Ooh, let's go crazy crazy I'm sorry I'm horrible I'm sorry okay uh, okay that's that yeah let me just go and turn that down and turn that down <laughs> okay yeah there we have that mirror like reflections i like to keep the reflections a little blurry so now you can just see that amazing uh, part right there and if i tried running uh, no you won't really see that there and before 
before a coin. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna like, like stop the video right now. Okay, just just a couple, give me a couple minutes. Okay, don't don't go right yet. <laughs> but like before going, I need. I'm gonna add. Um, I'm gonna use the PBS and show you the PBS materials. So if I try and the brick material, uh, I need to actually duplicate that. Because you can just see it looks kind of horrible. And I'm gonna change the tiling to I think 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I'm not sure. Oh, sorry, not 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 this tiling. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna change this, this tiling here to two and two and just drag this material on this object. Actually, one and one. And there you have it. I know the UVs are pretty messed up, so the object doesn't appear as properly at the you know, on the edges and all. But this is like truly, truly amazing. You also have the carpet and the cobblestone, and I don't know why Drawbox keeps telling me to update. Even though when I press the update button, it doesn't it updates? Oh, and one thing: if you try adding a cube or something like that, I don't know, and just try scaling it up. Oh my God, this is freaking bright! I need to turn down the brightness. <laughs> okay, so and you try adding. Uh, I think it was cobblestone. E maybe not. I don't know. I don't really remember. But I guess it was cobblestone, was it? Uh, 20 and 20. Okay, just kind of want to put it, drag it down. And let me just kind of go ahead and try building. And I think this will take longer. No? Okay. That, that was good then. Uh, but still, this is not right. There's something wrong with it. Maybe it was... Um, Rocks? Oh yes. No, never mind. <laughs> Definitely not rocks. This one looks pretty good as well. But I think this is a more of a low texture or something. Or is it? Mm, you know, honestly, I, I'm not. I don't even remember what which texture that was. There was one texture. I'll tell you that. And you can just see how you know just just amazing textures we have here. Most of them are pretty uh, high definition, and I think this one was it, or there, there was a grass texture which, which looked amazing. And honestly, I don't remember which one this was. It's probably due to the fact that I just uh, messed it with light and all. Everything looks so horrible, and I'm really, I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, it's it's pretty much due to that fact. <laughs> or okay glass okay okay can you even use a glass texture there food fabric yeah the fabric one is amazing ah just you know let me turn down the brightness okay i'm kind of sick of this all right what, what if i go and reset it no it's just gonna be like that either way okay i guess that's fine just turn that up And if I go with uh, pretty much a, uh, you know, scenery where the sun is about to set. Uh, so maybe something like there and just kind of quickly adjust the lights. I'm sorry, I'm just going to quickly do that. So that matches the sunlight right there. And over higher. Here we have it. And then you can just just kind of notice how amazing everything looks. Just look at that. Just look at that. I'm just put full screen there. Freaking look at that. Dang. Like that looks just amazing. And if I can just uh, kind of build that as well. Okay. And I possibly can jump high enough to reach the ceiling, I'm guessing. Uh, but anyways. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for today. And I have to, I have to say that I really did went overboard with this. And I kind of, oh yeah, that's a lot better for, for nighttime scenery. You can just copy the exit code if you want. Because <laughs> I pretty much copied the same thing. Or you can just try playing around and messing around with the settings. Once you reach this color.
yeah, a lot better for uh, nighttime. Or, well, not nighttime. Yeah. Whew, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys learned something new. And in case you're a bit, you know, confused and you want reflections in uh, forward rendering, because currently I am using the grass, the vegetation from uh, the blacksmith demo, and it does not work well with the depth lighting. It just works with the depth, uh, the forward rendering. And if I move to forward rendering, um, okay, for some reason I uh, don't see that old stuff there. Okay, that's kind of disappointing. I'm gonna see the reflections there. But I guess we'll just see that in a second. Let me do that. Okay, I think the the reflection, the bloom is a lot less intense in. Uh, no, I think it's about the same. Yeah, about the same uh, thingy. But yeah, you can see uh, that you might see the those, but uh, you won't see. You don't. You, you can't see the uh, trees. You can see the reflection you of the had, trees. You 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 can you do you you want you you can. So for that, you can just kind of go ahead and go to Game Object, Light, and select a, uh, at a Reflection Probe, and there you have it. Okay, my bad. So I can just kind of uh, go ahead, and as you can see, the moment I add the Reflection Probe, it kind of, uh, it, it affects just certain objects, so it's not really good. It, it, if I put it on the floor, it will affect the entire floor, so I'd rather not. <laughs> so almost a bit higher than the floor. You can uh, play around with the settings right there. And uh, pretty much add reflections. And you can also make it either baked or real time. But I well, I prefer well. It doesn't really matter. Real time basically means you can you have to update it from uh, like. Uh, so I don't think so. You still can see the uh, reflection. Oh yeah. Uh, click on box projection. That is freaking horrible. Look at that. What is this? I'm sorry, but I didn't really expect that to happen. Uh, I guess we could move it a bit lower. No. But maybe we can just keep it that way. And it will be better eventually, somehow. But yeah, anyways, that's about it, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial if you can call it one and it really did end up being long really long <laughs> and you can see the reflection I think that's where it will you can, you can actually go ahead and uh, I'm gonna make this baked okay, you can actually go ahead and change the resolution to a higher resolution and be sure not to pump it up too high in case you don't even want that uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm using reflection probes, but I'm not really exactly using them for surfaces like these as, as at the moment. I'm pretty much using them to add a little bit of reflection to things like this. Okay, so I have this part right there. Ooh. <laughs> I like the, love the image, uh, sorry, the love the blur. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial, and I'll see you, well, probably this week, not the next week. I mean, I will see you next week as well if life goes on, but this week as well. So yeah. Anyways, well then, peace out guys.